Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about circle. A circle is the path of a point moving at the same distance from a fixed point here this is the circle with a fixed point o the fixed point is the center of the circle so here o is the center of the circle and the fixed distance is known as radius of the circle so here op is the radius of the circle now here we have three more points on the circle q r and s if we join center to these points then oq is equal to or is equal to os is equal to op as these all are the radius of the given circle that is the fixed distance from the fixed point to the point on a circle so that means we can say that radius is a line segment that connects the center to a point on the circle now a and p are two points of the circle and ap is a line segment joining these two points and passing through the center of the circle that is o so here ap is the diameter of the circle also diameter is twice of radius of the circle now let's see what is the chord of a circle a chord of a circle is a line segment joining any two points on the circle so here suppose we have two points a and b then the line segment joining these two points that is the line segment ab is the chord of the circle now next we have arc of the circle an arc is a portion of a circle suppose we have two points a and b on the circle then this will be the arc of the circle and this is written as arc ab now let's move on to the sector of a circle a region in the interior of a circle enclosed by an arc 
on one side and a pair of radii on the other two sides is called a sector. Now here we have an arc AB. Now we will join point A and B to the center of the circle and the shaded portion will be the sector of the circle. It is enclosed by the arc on one side and a pair of radii on the other two sides. Now radii is the plural of radius. Now let's see what is the segment of a circle. A region in the interior of a circle enclosed by a cone and an arc is called the segment of a circle. Now let us take two points P and Q on the circle. So this is the arc PQ and this is the chord PQ. Now the region enclosed by the arc and the chord of the circle is the segment of the circle. So that means this is the segment of the given circle. Now let's see what is the circumference of a circle. The distance around the circle is the circumference of the circle. So here if we start from the point A and move along the boundary of the circle and then again reach at the point A then the distance covered is the circumference of the given circle. Now here AB is the diameter of the circle. So you need to remember one more thing that is the diameter of a circle divides it into two semicircles. So here the diameter AB divides the circle into two semicircles. With this we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.